guys really, we made up for a short week by them guys coming in, uh, dedicating time on their own together in, in preparing, taking, you know, uh, you know, respecting this game, respecting the opponent, respecting, uh, you know, what the attitude that you got to have and, and, and the performances you got to have. You want to go on the road and win anywhere and to come here and beat these guys. I think, again, history shows that it's not easy. And uh, so, again, to, to, to have that road dog toughness and mentality, have that bite down mentality. A lot of our guys are on special teams and controlling the field position, not giving up field position that way is a big part of it too. But uh, uh, just I think, you know, the coaches preparing their guys and then our guys decide they're going to come out and physically, uh, you know, win their individual battles. Coach, obviously we won't know the prognosis for Jalen yet, but how much does he mean to this defense with his versatility? Yeah, I think he's a very versatile player and, and uh, will be a big part of us, you know, again, obviously moving forward. And uh, we're hopeful that it's, you know, all things considered, it's minor and he'll be back, you know, within a few weeks, max. Uh, but we'll see. What sort of issues does Lamar Jackson bring for defense? <laughs> I thought this is Tuesday's press conference. <laughs> it is. Uh, it's Tuesday. We fast forward. It's everything. I mean, if a guy is just a runner, he's easy to defend. If he's just a passer, a little bit easier to defend. And uh, but when they've got the weapons, a great defense, uh, he can throw it, he can run it. He's very dynamic. Uh, you know his speed, his arm. Uh, again, systematically, I think they got a good system. Uh, they don't. Uh, they know what they're doing, and then they're playing great defense. And um, they've got a looks like a, a complete team. And, uh, and he's just a very dynamic player that you can have everything right. Uh, and then he can he can buy buy or get himself out of uh, you know tough situations. Why do you think these get, you, you, these new guys kind of came in with the same attitude and, and swagger that the last guys did? And I think it comes from the hard work, uh, the preparation they've put in and out of season, and the older guys kind of pouring into them. Uh, you know, they paid attention when they weren't the guy, and. Uh, and they worked incredibly hard through the off season, Coach Bass and those guys. But again, knowing what to do, Coach is doing a great job of teaching them and developing them as well. And so I think all of it. But uh, uh, you know, it's one thing to have good players. Those coaches, you know, our position coaches do a great job. You know, getting their guys ready and developing them. And, but then we got a good culture too. You know, uh, that that promotes uh, that youth. And, uh, and gives them their opportunities too. Coach, can you walk us through the next couple of days? I know you guys, your team's gonna have a few days off, but for you personally, what are you gonna be doing? Yeah, we're starting studying? here in Atlanta, then, uh, then South Carolina tomorrow night, and then uh, going up to New Jersey uh, to recruit. So yeah, you know, late Saturday night. And so late Saturday night, when you turn your attention to Louisville, what do you kind of- I got some Louisville stuff in the back. <laughs> so you're gonna be doing a lot of studying. <laughs> Maybe a little bit, Maybe a little bit. No, I mean, that doesn't mean anything. I mean, it still comes down to players going to make plays and make the calls look good and all that. And we're going to have to uh, come, you know, come up with a plan that gives us a chance to win. It's going to be a difficult, difficult challenge to say the least. Is your team hungrier than you think even last year's defense was? I just, I mean, I look at the intensity level. It's like last year's defense had something to prove after they lost guys, and these guys yeah. seem to be responding the same way with that same sort of fire and passion. Oh, if you remember last year through. Six games, I thought we played really pretty dang good. Uh, and then that's the challenge, you know. Can you continue to invest? Can you continue to work? Can you continue to stay focused? Put all the distractions aside. And the really special ones can, individually, unit, as a defense. And then it's so hard to maintain that focus and handle the success and, and go back to the grind and stay hungry and have be desperate and all of it and, uh, and, and and so that'll be the challenge you know it's one thing again it's a it's a long season and uh, we're gonna have hopefully more ups and downs but there are gonna be some tough days and uh, tough moments and uh, hopefully uh, we've got the right kind of leadership and the character to kind of fight us through those times and uh, that's what the great teams and the great players do